Eliza Jane's interest in dialect eventually put her into contact with Robert Easton, a legendary actor and dialect coach, often referred to as the Henry Higgins of Hollywood. The two are currently creating the definitive encyclopedic dictionary of the dialects of spoken English in three volumes. This has the... Yeah, it's the, got a glossary. A glossary of it's like the... some uh, terminology in it. The sailor jargon? You got it. It's in the International Phonetic Alphabet, which you and I can read. Ah. Uh, Very uh, few other people could read it, but we can. So we this know says, the secret. move over your great fat cow. That is right. Fortunately, Eliza not only has a marvelous ear, she can hear all kinds of subtleties of dialects, and we talk about them, and we you know, write them down and compare notes on it. She's also as obsessed with the subject as I am. It's rare to find someone who is obsessed with dialects, as in fact I am. So it's been a joy to work with her. She's very, very bright. She has practically a photographic memory. Through her study of dialects, Eliza Jane has developed a unique perspective on the many different ways English is spoken around the world. He gone, he be gone, and he been gone are three completely different meanings. You know, it's like a different verb conjugation. And um, people who aren't in the, in the scene, in the society, don't, don't get that. And, and the, the worst thing is when people, you know, say that, that it's stupid or, or it's, it's lesser. It's interesting, the exact same thing's going on in England right now. Because the northern dialects are actually older, more Shakespearean, and more, more pure. And, and the people who speak the Queen's English, you know, this sort of RP with his pronunciation, dropping their R's, it's only been around for the last couple hundred years. And these are people who concern themselves with pedigree, you know, and, and, and it cracks me up. It just cracks me up, like, because it's true all around the world. Like, there's always the people who speak with the working class dialect who don't, don't like the people who speak with the upper class dialects and and there's prejudice on both sides.